asking, why am I always running into these people? Is it me who is the problem? If you're running into easily offended, toxic people all the time, does that make you the problem? The answer is no. But if you find yourself always surrounded by easily offended and toxic people, is there a problem within you? Possibly. But when I say that, I don't mean that because there's a problem in you that you're the problem. Meaning these people are responsible for their toxic behavior. They're responsible for how easily offended they get. They're responsible for their immaturity, insecurity, and lack of sober judgment. They're responsible for all that. I would start to question what's going on in me that either attracts me to them or attracts them to me. So you're going to want to ask yourself that question. Am I the one that's initially attracted to these people? And if that's so, why? Why am I easily attracted to these people? And at what point does the script flip? Meaning, okay, I was once attracted to you, but now that this happened, I'm turned off. Because in which case, that's telling me that you're, you're kind of just bulldozing your way right into the relationship. You may be attaching in an unhealthy way way too quickly, and you're not looking for the red and yellow flags, and you're not waiting for these relationships to bear fruit. You're just rushing right in, you're giving everything, and then you start to see the signs. However, if you find yourself attracted by is that the right way of saying it? If you find that people are attracted to you and you recognize it from the start, then I would begin to question where, where am I going wrong in my ability to set boundaries? And in that case, there may be some codependency that's taking place. Actually, in both cases, there's likely that there's some codependency taking place. If I'm attaching too quickly to someone or if I'm seeing their flaws and I'm not able to put up healthy boundaries, then it's highly likely that I'm trying to rescue somebody or maybe I think they can rescue me. I wouldn't go putting yourself in the bucket as the problem, but if you can break down those two different scenarios and see where you may fit in, I think you may start to shed some light on that. Once you discover which scenario you're in, does that automatically take care of the problem? No, that's going to be the beginning of the awareness. Okay, do I need to slow down at the beginning of relationships? Meaning, do I need to see this person bear fruit before I start to bear my soul? Or do I need to learn to say no to people that I, I feel like need rescuing? 